A blessed day to all of you, brothers and sisters, and to those who join us in worship through this live stream at the Diocesan Shrine of Jesus the Divine Word in Christ the King Mission Seminary, Quezon City. We are on the 23rd Sunday in Ordinary Time. Our Mass presider today is Reverend Father Ronald Ray S. Martinez, SVD, Vice Rector of the Shrine. Our celebration will now begin. Please rise. God, we praise you. God, we bless you. God, we name you, sovereign Lord, mighty King, whom angels worship, Father, by your church adored. All creation shows your glory, and and earth draw near your throne, singing holy, 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 Lord of hosts and God alone. Through apostles, faithful prophets, saints who set their world ablaze, martyrs once unknown, unheeded, join one road song of praise while your church on earth confesses one majestic trinity father son and holy spirit god our hope eternally in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Great things happen when we encounter Jesus in our life. That's the main point of the gospel. When the deaf man encountered Jesus, his life will be changed forever. We also bring into this Mass our offerings of ourselves and we ask the Lord to open us and he may come into our lives so that great things also will happen to each one of us. We are now in the 23rd Sunday in the ordinary time. And for us to worthily offer ourselves in this celebration, let us put first ourselves into the hands of God and ask pardon for our sins. Together, we declare, I, I confess, confess to Almighty, to Almighty God, God and, and to you, you my, my brothers, brothers and, and sisters, sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I failed to do. Through, through my, my fault, thought, through my thought, thought through, through my, my most grievous fault, fault therefore, therefore I ask, blessed, blessed Mary, ever, virgin, ever virgin, all, all the, the angels and saints, and, and you, you, my brothers and sisters, and sisters to pray, pray for, for me, me to the Lord, Lord our, our God. God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. to God in the highest and on earth peace on earth peace to people of good we praise you we bless you we adore you we glorify you we give you thanks for your great glory Lord God heavenly King O God Almighty Father Lord Jesus Christ only begotten Son Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, 
with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace on earth, peace to people of good Let us pray. O God, by whom we are redeemed and receive adoption, look graciously upon your sons and daughters, that those who believe in Christ may receive true freedom and an everlasting inheritance through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, Say to those whose hearts are frightened, Be strong, fear not. Here is your God. He comes with vindication. With divine recompense, he comes to save you. Then will the eyes of the blind be opened, the ears of the deaf be cleared. Then will the lame leap like a stag, then the tongue of the mute will sing. Streams will burst forth in the desert and rivers in the steppe. The burning sands will become pools, and the thirsty ground springs of water. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. God of Jacob keeps faith forever, secures justice for the oppressed, gives food to the hungry. The Lord sets captives free. gives sight to the blind. The Lord raises up those who were bowed down. The Lord loves the just. The Lord protects strangers. <laughs>
fatherless and the widow the Lord sustains, but the way of the wicked he thwarts. The Lord shall reign forever, your God, O Zion, through all generations. Alleluia. reading from the letter of St. James. My brothers and sisters, show no partiality as you adhere to the faith in our glorious Lord Jesus Christ. For if a man with gold rings and fine clothes comes into your assembly, and a poor person in shabby clothes also comes in, and you pay attention to the one wearing the fine clothes and say, sit here, please, while you say to the poor one, stand there and sit at my feet. Have you not made distinctions among yourselves and become judges with evil designs? Listen, my beloved brothers and sisters, did not God choose those who are poor in the world to be rich in faith and heirs of the kingdom that he promised to those who love him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand to honor the Holy Gospel. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus left Tarian territory and returned by way of Sidon to the Sea of Galilee into the district of the ten cities. Some people brought him a deaf man who had a speech impediment and begged him to lay his hand on him. Jesus took him off by himself away from the crowd. He put his fingers into the man's ears and spitting 
touch his tongue. Then he looked up to heaven and emitted a groan. He said to him, Ephata, that is, be opened. At once the man's ears were opened. He was freed from the impediment and began to speak plainly. Then he joined them, he enjoined them strictly not to tell anyone. But the more he ordered them not to, the more they proclaimed it. Their amazement went beyond all bounds. He has done everything well. He makes the deaf hear and the mute speak. Brothers and sisters, the Holy Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Again, welcome po sa Shrine of Jesus the Divine Word. We are inside Christ the King Seminary, Quezon City. Uh, before we go to the primary reflection, counting trivia po muna at updates because we are now in the month of September. And number one, please remember this coming Wednesday, September 8th, is the birthday of Mary. Mary, birthday of Mama Mary. Pangalawa naman, ngayong September din po, ay what we call SVD month. Kung makita niyo mga pangalan namin, mga pari na gimisa dito, sa huli, may SVD. Ano yan? Bakit may SVD? Ibig sabihin yan, Societas Vervi Divini. In Latin, pero ang English niyan ay Society of the Divine Word. Yan ang pangalan ng grupo namin. We are religious missionaries. So ngayon September 18 is Foundation Day of our congregation. 146 year kasi ang aming pong congregation was founded 1875 by St. Arnold Johnson. And third trivia naman ay paalala, we have now entered into the what you call bear months. Yung mga bear month ay September, October, November, December. And usually, pag bear months na, there's a certain intensified, heightened sense of emotion. Pero ang bear month naman, naisip ko, nilagyan ko ng acronym. Letter B, meaning believing. Letter E, encountering. And R naman, recent Christ. So we continue to believe and encounter the recent Christ. Why believe? Friends, continue to believe in God. That's your call faith. Even if He cannot be seen, when you believe, that's your call faith. And continue to believe that there is bright tomorrow for you. That's what you call hope. And when you believe that you can do something, and when you believe that other people is also good, that's what you call love. So believe even it's difficult. Ano naman encounter? Encounter meaning tagpu, tagpuin, tagpu, tagpuan. Na isang araw, pinapanood ko yung mga yuyumayumayaman ng mga YouTuber. May isa doon na magsyota. Nagkatagpo daw sila sa Facebook. So, tagpo. And that's also what happened in the Gospel. When the deaf man encountered Jesus, his life changed. So continue to encounter, seek to encounter Jesus in your life. Seek to see Him, seek to allow Him to embrace you. Because when you do, something will change in you. Pwede dala na ama, kanyang anak, na sisulupang ibabaw to you, not just for any other cause or purpose. The purpose is to do something about you, to do something about this world, to do something about your life. So encounter, keep believing, keep encountering the risen Christ. For when you do, you too will participate in His rising into glory. We can meet God in our prayer. 
Kaya po nandito kayo ngayon. And the highest praise, the Holy Mass. We can meet God in your family. So remember, the family can be a solemn place to meet God. And you can meet God in your own life. You can meet God when you listen and read the Word of God. Kaya sana when a lector is reading the Bible, kaya nil listen, kasi ang turo ni simbahan, the moment it is being read, God is the one speaking to you. You can meet God in your daily experiences. So kung kaninang umaga, what happened to you? If you will allow me to ask you, what happened to you this morning? Whatever happens to you, God was there. We can meet God even in your pains. You can meet God even in your suffering. You can meet God even when you are doubting. You can meet God even you are very confused. And you can meet God even when you are disappointed. Pero why we have to encounter God? Kasi even in our disappointment and doubt, God can create great things in our lives. Yung po ang nangyari doon sa pipa at bingi. He brought himself to Jesus, deaf and mute. But when Jesus touched him, something opened in him. Yan po ang first effect when you encounter Jesus. Something will open in you. Parang pitaka ng laman ang may mga benching ko. When you open the pitaka, baka may lalabas na mga piso. Sana lumabas dyan yung mga galit, puot, yung mga hindi kailangan para pagbukas na ito, makapasok ang Espiritu Santo kung saan magibigay healing, peace, and consolation to your heart and soul. In short, friends, encounter the Lord in your in this road of life. Kasi where else we are going to meet and encounter Jesus in this road of life which you are in, which are all of us are in. And I would like to point out three roads where we can experience Jesus the most. The most. First, the road where we can meet in this road of life, we can meet the most or encounter Jesus the most in the road of suffering. May libro po si Scott Peck which he published 30 years ago. Ang titulo ay The Road Less Traveled. Ang kalsada na hindi dinadaanan o karaniwa lang dinadaanan. At tatong beses ko yung binasa. What is this road less traveled? Suffering. Is that the most le road less traveled? But sabi ni Scott Peck, why would you not want to travel that road if that road will be the one to give you so much in life? Sabi niya kasi, it is in suffering. We are most shaped and formed. Kaya nga, some people, after some years, the ba, they suffered 20 years ago, when they look back, nagpapasalamat sila, na dumaan sila sa mga tagpong iyon. Because it afforded them more good. They became more patient. Their perspective in life became widened. They appreciate life all the more. Especially those who had gotten sick and recovered, nabigyan ng extension. They saw meaning and purpose. They see life differently. They cherish every moment. Nakita nila, Dapat pala, every second must count. They become deep. They become deep. They become grounded. They become mature. Why? Because nga, when we encounter Jesus in our lives, when we encounter Him, things will open. Things will open in our lives. Our mind, heart, and soul become open. And the Holy Spirit will come to work in us to be the one to operate our lives. So sana in this Mass, Lord, tell the Lord, Lord, come to me. Operate in me. Work in me. Pangalawa naman po pala, the next road where we can encounter the most Jesus is the road of people. 
tao, your family, your friends. Sabi sa gospel, hindi yung pipa at bingi who brought himself to Jesus. How can he brought himself to Jesus when he cannot hear? Hindi niya siguro alam kung sino si Jesus and what he can do. Who brought him to Jesus? Sabi doon, people. At sabi pa ng ano, mga sa gospel, it was the people who begged Jesus to cure the deaf man. At ito rin po ang dahilan why the Catholic Church believes that it is worthy to pray for others. This is our source why we believe prayer. Minsan siguro baka in your past life ng bata tayo or recently people hurt us, your wife hurt you, your husband hurt you, baka yung kapatid nyo hurt you, or usually kasi when we are hurt, we lost our trust. And when we lose our trust, we give up on people. But ang message po ng gospel in this road of life, even some people may hurt you, you still do not give up. They are still our co journey here in this life. Try to forgive because we can experience God the most when we are with our family. Pangatlo naman, the road where we can counter the most the Lord is the road of hope. So my road of suffering, my road of family, Don't forget to enter also the road of hope. Kasi kung puro lang suffering ang dinadaanin ninyo, you'll feel life will be senseless. Pinadala ng Ama, Sesus, sa lupang ibabaw, para bigyan tayo to open for us a new road, the road of hope. So that's my invitation to all of you. Merong 4,000 live viewers ngayon listening to me. Listen to the invitation of Jesus. Walk enter into this road of hope. Kaya nga, kanina sabi ko, bear months meaning keep on believing, keep on encountering the risen Christ. Why risen? Because when Jesus came, He, he made sure our destiny is not death, but resurrection. Pero syempre, mga kapatid, we have to admit that suffering can really put us down. Naalala ko, kasi masakitin ako eh. Alam mo yung lalabas na new result, yung blood laboratory, laboratory, yung lalabas na galing sa laboratory. Ang ginagawa ko dati, pag lumabas na yung laboratory, dahan-dahan ko inaano eh. Kasi ayaw ko makita biglaan, baka masyak ang puso ko, baka ako ay sobrang madown. Tinadahan-dahan ko, at least kung pangit ang result, dahan-dahan din ang sakit. That to tell you, na ang mga bu- sa buhay talaga natin, kung kulang ng pera, nag yan, it can affect our emotion and can it bring us down. And when you do, tell yourself it's okay because you are being human. Pero ang invitation ni Jesus, don't forget to enter the road of hope. Hindi pwede nandung ka lang sa road of suffering. Embrace Him as a risen God. Offer your doubts, your fear, your negative thinking, your anxiety, your worries. Tulad po nangyari sa gospel, yung pipa at bingi, sabi doon sa gospel, kinawa ni Jesus at dinala sa isang tabi. Allow also Jesus to take you away by himself. Alam nyo po pala, yung bip, bingi at pipi na tao sa gospel, kung mahalata ninyo, walang pangalan. Di ba walang pangalan? Sabi lang doon, siya ay bibing at bib, pipi at bingi. Alam niyo bakit walang pangalan? Kasi nameless siya para you and I can put yourselves and identify yourselves in the character. Kasi sa buhay natin, in our own situation, we do have our own deafness. Something is closing in. When you are fearful, something is closing in. When you are suffering, some are closing in. 
when you are anxious, did you not notice it? Things become darker. It's closing in our own way. Kaya nga, put yourself in a deaf man. And now imagine, kasama mo na si Jesus. He will bring you away with Him. Kayo lang dalawa. And what if Jesus would like to touch part of your body and heal it? Kung sa body nyo, tatanungin ka, what part ang ituturo mo? Where, where, what part of your body would like Jesus to heal you? Or kung ang sa mind, maybe you would like to ask for enlightenment and wisdom or understanding. Ituro mo, Lord, dito po, touch my head here. And listen to Him when He will say to you loudly, Ephata, ordering your mind and body to be open, to be healed. Kasi sabi ni St. Thomas Aquinas, the first effect of grace of the Lord is healing. Tapos go naman to your heart, magkasama kayo ni Jesus. Ituro mo sa kanya, Lord, on this part, because on this part in my heart, there are plenty of pains, and I'm right now, I'm carrying heavy loads in my heart. I am troubled. I am anxious. I am filled with self-doubt. Things are closing in me. Then tell the Lord, open Lord. Hear His word telling you, Ephata. Or tell your soul, ituro mo Lord, ito yung kaluluwa ko pang kaninoon. Kasi as a person, I have plenty of inconsistencies. And I have some emptiness. Then ituro mo, Lord, come to my soul. Ephata. Open. For it is when we are open, life will come to us. God bless everyone. Don't forget the bear. Keep on believing and encountering the risen Lord. For your destiny is meant to be to share in the resurrection of Jesus. Together we recite our beautiful faith. I believe in one God, God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. We are all in need of God's healing. Let us now turn to our loving Father that He may touch our minds and hearts for us to be whole again. With faith and confidence, let us pray. Lord, our healer, listen to our prayer. Lord, our healer, listen to our prayer. May the Pope, bishops, priests, and deacons continue to become instrument of the Lord's healing through their administration of the Sacrament of Reconciliation. We pray. Lord, our healer, listen to our prayer. May the Lord work through all medical experts and frontliners 
who are fighting COVID-19. May they find strength in those who show them love and compassion. We pray. Lord, our healer, listen to our prayer. May the leaders of our nation speak out bravely against evil that destroys the dignity of human person and conservation of the world. We pray. Lord, our healer, listen to our prayer. That the lonely, the migrants, the handicapped, and those who are entangled with pain and separation may experience God's companionship through the care of their communities. We pray. Lord, our healer, listen to our prayer. May all those who mourn the passing of their loved ones find strength and consolation in the loving embrace of God. We pray. Lord, our healer, listen to our prayer. Let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community and our personal intentions. We pray. Lord, our healer, listen to our prayer. Hear our humble petitions, O Lord, as we seek healing and peace. May these prayers help us to care and to listen to each other so that we too can become your instruments of your love and kindness. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. sa pagpapala mo at tanggapin ang alak na ito inuming inihain sa'yo Mahal namin Diyos inyong tanggapin ang munting alay Mula sa amin, buong puso namin Hihintayin, pagpapala na amin Hiling. Aming hatid, alay na ito Ang tinapay na nagmula sa pagpapala mo at tanggapin ang alak na ito inuming inihain sa'yo Mahal namin Diyos inyong tanggapin ang munting alay mula sa Pagpapala na aming hiling Mahal namin Diyos Inyong tanggapin Ang munting alay mula sa amin Buong puso namin Hihintayin Pagpapala Pagpapala na aming hiling. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept His sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. O God, who give us the true 
the gift of true prayer and of peace, graciously grant that through this offering we may do fitting homage to your divine majesty and by partaking of the sacred mystery we may be faithfully united in mind and heart through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for we know that it belongs to your boundless glory that you came to the aid of mortal beings with your divinity and even fashioned for us a remedy out of mortality itself that the cause of our downfall might become the means of our salvation through Christ our Lord. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith As we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence 
and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Onesto Ong Choco, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed Apostles, St. Arnold Jansen, SVD, and St. Joseph Reinademetz, SVD, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Friends, gathering all our prayers into one, let us pray the Lord's Prayer. Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit, tayo po ay magbahaginan ng kapayapaan na dalan ng Kristo. Peace to everyone. Peace be Those in the Facebook and YouTube channels right now, peace to all of you and to your family. Jesus, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy. of the world have mercy on us Jesus Lamb of God you take away the sins of the world grant us Friends, this is our Lord Jesus Christ. He healed the deaf man by laying down his hands on him and touching his tongue. We also ask him to touch us, our mind, our heart, and soul. 
because He is the Lamb of God who will take away the sins of the world. And happy are we who are invited to partake His Supper. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never per permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. Grant that your faithful, O Lord, whom you nourish and endow with life through the food of your word and heavenly sacrament, may so benefit from your beloved Son great gifts, that you may merit an eternal share in his life, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Horatio Imperata Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country and the whole world. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment and protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. Saints Arnold Johnson and Joseph Reinademitz, pray for us. Please be seated para po sa ating announcement. Tatlo. Uh, una muna ako pala si Father Ronald S. Partines, SVD. Ang kasulukuyang Vice Rector ng Simbahan. People also call me Father Ron Ray. Uh, ang una kong announcement po ay to those of you, especially those in the online right now, na nagtatanong kung paano magpamisa sa simbahan namin, especially those in abroad. If you have difficulty connecting with your parish, uh, on your screen, lalabas po dyan, yung aming system link. Just type on your screen, www.bit.ly shrine intentions. May mga konti sa sasagutan. Then, the most important is to submit it. Then, upon submitting, papasok po yan sa aming central database system. The following day kaagad, you will see your Mass intention will be appearing on your screen. Thanksgiving, healing, anniversaries, all are accepted. Nandiyan na rin po sa poster yung mga relevant contact details ng aming simbahan para kung meron kayong gustong itanong, feedback, or you want to connect with us, those are the details. Kung pwede nga po sana, picturean nyo na yan ngayon. Or if you cannot do it, ask your daughter or son next to you para po yung copy nandiyan na sa inyo. If somebody will magpapatulong sa inyo, meron na kayong i-offer kaagad. Or the next time na isyo magpamisa, available na po itong poster at your hand. Nandiyan na rin po yung aming cellphone number, email, pati yung Facebook Messenger na pangalan. At pangalawa naman po pala, gusto ko sa inyo, I would like to invite you all on your screen na labas po dyan, yung poster ng Words to Light Our Path. Meron siyang YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram account. I invite you, if you can subscribe to the YouTube, or follow the Facebook, or subscribe to Instagram. Ang main mission po ng pages na yan is to inspire 
to unite and to heal. Nagpa-publish siya ng mga originally composed prayers and quotations. Ako ang kanyang administrator. So I, again, once again, in advance, thank you for your subscribing to this page. At pangatlo po pala, I mentioned kanina, ngayong September 8 ay birthday ni Mama Mary. Ang misa sa aming simbahan ay online, merong 6.30, merong 6pm sa gabi. Pero may special mass ng 10am. Ang purpose po niyan, kasi nga di ba po sabi ko, September 8 ay Foundation Day din ng aming congregation. So the whole christ community, pag sabing christ community, nandito na ang simbahan, ang mga sundarista, pati po yung si Father Orbos. Because Father Orbos is inside christ community. So at 10 a.m., we will offer the Mass in honor of the foundation of our congregation. At pasasalamat to all of you, for all the donors, benefactors, and those, all of you being with us, in this journey for the past one year and six months. Thanksgiving, ito po. You can, we will have the Mass in Father Jerry Orbos' Facebook and YouTube channel, in SVD Philippines Media. We will have it in Divine, Shine of the Divine Word Facebook and YouTube, in Young Ambassadors for Christ, and Words to Light Our Path. So, thank you in advance. See you. Once again, thank you so much for being with us for today. God, you award your kindness and generosity. Kindly rise for the final blessing. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. May the God of all consolation order your days in His peace and grant you the gifts of His blessing. Amen. Amen. May He free you always from ever distress and confirm your hearts in His love. Amen. Amen. So that on this life's journey, you may be effective in good works, rich in the gifts of hope, faith, and charity, and may come happily to eternal life. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Our celebration is ended. Go in the peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. To God.